Hey, how's it going today? We're going to look at importing a Mixamo character with some animation into Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And to do this, I'm just going to go into a blank template right here. I'll just leave it called My Project M and go create. And it just takes a couple minutes. I've been experimenting a little bit about this. This is a little bit different than Unreal Engine. And so I don't know if this is going to change or something, but there's it's a little different how things work in here. So anyway, to do this, you go into Mixamo and I'll go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Okay, so as far as Mixamo go, you just need to log on and create an account and pick a character. There's about quite a few to choose from. So you just pick a character and then you click on the animations tab. And then you're just gonna go ahead and download the character in the T-Pose, just like that. Just a T-Pose and go download, just like that. And then it'll download. And then let's say you want, let's say we want to put this guy in a idle animation. Then on the animations tab, what we're going to do is search for idle, idle animation, search, and here's a standing idle animation. And, and then when you go to download this one, do not download it with the skin go without skin and that's all you have to do on any subsequent animation so then after you've picked your character downloaded in t-pose it'll come in with the skeletal mesh or the skeleton and then after that no no skin on it on any animation that you download and then just go ahead and download all whatever animations that you want and that's the one phase of this Okay, so let's jump back into Unreal Editor. And now we're back from there. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to go to add, import, and I'm gonna go to my downloads section right here. And what we wanna do is download that boss that has the skeletal, the skin attached. And this is the one in T-Pose, the boss. And we're just gonna open. And we want to go ahead and import everything. There's this one that says use TO as ref pose and check that on. And you won't see a skeletal attached. It's, it's built in there. So just go ahead then and go import all. And it's going to say it had some problems with the names, but it renamed it automatically. And that's great. And so it's going to bring in a bunch of assets. But let's just look at some of these. It says it's brought in some materials. These are the ones of uh, particular interest to the physics assets. It's an animation, but it's really just a T-pose on the skeletal mesh. But this is really the most important is the boss skeleton. So once it does that, we'll go ahead and save all. We want everything to save. And then what we're going to do is we can bring in any of the animations that we want. So let's say we want the idle animation. So we'll go to add. We'll go to import and I'll just get this standing idle animation and go open. And we'll just bring everything in, go import all. And it's already connected to the skeletal rig. And you'll see it comes in right here and it says it's an animation sequence, which should be correct. So here's the thing though. If I drag this onto the scene, I see it and it looks pretty good, except you'll notice on the arms, if we look at the arms, how they go into the body too much, right? So, I mean, depending on the angle that you were shooting this, you might not, if you just wanted to shoot, get a shot like this, it'd probably work, but that there, can we fix that? And it looks like we can. So this is the weird part about it, is that if we double click into this standing idle animation right here, it opens up this kind of editor and it appears to be like the animation sequence editor. But what I found about it is we can make the changes without having to do anything. And you'll see, we'll create a new animation here, but it's very, very interesting. So let's go to the fr first frame here. And what we're gonna do is go to the right shoulder here, right here. And then just very subtly, we're going to just pull that out, maybe like two notches. 
just so that it's out there's some clearance there and then we're going to go to the right forearm and we're going to bend that in a little bit more like that maybe like that and then we can go to the right hand and just bend that in a little bit more like that and then we'll go to the left shoulder and this could very well change if I find out a different way of doing this we'll just bring it out a couple notches we'll go to the left forearm and we're going to just bend that in a little bit and then again on this left hand we're just going to bend that in a little bit so it's a little more natural looking and then we're just going to leave it like that now if I go save it said it's it's saved into the standing idle but it looks like I've modified it if I hit play it plays back and you see we've got some nice clearance there so did I modify the original let me hit pause here we'll go back here it doesn't look like it so let me just delete this one and go ahead and bring it back on and it's still the same it appears to be the same original animation so what I can do is click up here go to the beginning because it's just an idle animation it doesn't really matter I can just go click on record put a folder to put it in it'll leave it called new animation we'll go OK and then I'll hit play and then I'll go stop and then it says it's created a new animation 10 seconds long okay and it looks like it's corrected so we'll go ahead and save that now I'll go ahead and stop this I'll come in here and I'll see my new animation is right down here and I'll drag this one onto the scene and it looks like the arms are a lot more appropriate and I don't I saw the first one running seemed to be running automatically I don't see this running but when I upload it let's go ahead and save this and I'll go ahead and launch the session now I've had issues when I went to save this before it said it wouldn't save it but it it does seem to save I'll go save selected I don't get an error it appears to save it and then I'll come back as soon as this is finished loading up okay it's finished loading up so now we're just going to go start game jump into Fortnite here and let's see if it's doing the idle animation yeah it appears to be doing the idle animation so I guess in conclusion it looks like it's very easy to bring in the mix Mixamo characters fully animated and drop them into your scene now I know we can also bring these characters into the level sequence and do animations that way but this is kind of cool that we can just drag the animated asset tweak the animated asset save it out record it and just bring it right into the scene just like this so anyway I hope you found this helpful take care have a great day and I'll talk to you next time